So here I have my BioCube 14. Um, I made a lot of modifications on it and I wanted to tell you guys about what I did. This tank's been up and running for about three months now and finally got some clowns and coral and all that kind of stuff. So I want to go through all the upgrades that I've done for it. And the first upgrade I did was lighting. Didn't have very good lighting, so bought a, about three long heat sinks and Cree LED lights, and then upgraded the fans. And that's a normal upgrade that a lot of people do. I have a protein skimmer, and in this one I have my my return and also UV light and the heaters all in this one. And then this pipe right here, I made it perfectly where it takes the water and goes down to a refugium. And I had an extra five gallon tank and I made the refugium, which is down here. So here I have a refugium and Basically, it's a five gallon tank. I took some silicone, uh, aqua safe silicone, and got some pieces of glass and cut them up and then made a little homemade uh, refugium. And then I bought this LED light that I always keep on. You know, I think it's like 12 bucks on eBay. And this first chamber it goes into has a bunch of bio balls. And then in the second chamber, I don't know if you can see it, but in the second chamber, we have a moving bed filter, and I have K1 folding in there, and then I have uh, a little air, air stone in there. And then it goes into this chamber, which has a sponge, and then I put the glass marbles, or glass beads, on it, just for weight to keep that sponge down. So that sponge comes up and all my K1 calding comes up. So then in the refugium, I just got a rock. I'm starting to get red allergy that I'm gonna have to take care of here soon. Um, then it goes into this chamber, just kind of takes out all the bubbles. And then the last chamber, I have carbon and the return. Okay. And that's my refugium. And then the air pump has dual uh, pumps, one to the, the moving bed, and then one to the uh, protein skimmer. Now, for the lights, all the lights are automatic. I did all the wiring jobs, so it doesn't look professional. But, so, I got a 12 volt system that go, I plug into these. These things can handle, I think, quite, I can't remember the amount of amps they can handle, but they can handle some amps. What I did was a parallel system for the lights, just in case one light goes out, they all don't go out. So I, I think it's safer to do that. So I had to get beefier um, step downs. So I stepped down the voltage to three volts, which then raises my amps, which I was able to put more lights on one strand. One is for the nighttime lights and the other one's for the daytime lights. Then right here, these things just come off. These are just my timers, and they're DC timers, and I'm able to control the time. I have my blue lights come on, you know, early in the morning at 6.30, and then my regular lights go on at 7, and then same thing, 7.30, or 7, my, light, my day lights come off, and then 7.30, my blue lights come off. So, yeah. Here's my return pipe. And then I have a fan back here that's blowing on the water because the BioCube, I learned, heats up pretty good. And this fan actually drops the temperature about two degrees. So it's actually kind of nice. It's a cheap way to cool down your tank, especially when it's enclosed like this. And then I uh, got a bunch of critters. I got some crabs in there and then uh, you know toadstool and other coral and then 
but it's been everything that's in here has probably been in there for over a month and everything seems to be pretty happy I kind of stopped testing my water because it's always been good um, I noticed the one bad thing about this fan it keeps the water cool but I, I have to fill up uh, fresh water every night and I fill up this cup right here I have to fill it up all the way every night and put it in the tank because um, that's that's about how much that fan that fan kind of evaporates more water I noticed but it I don't know keeps it cooler for half the price of uh, well I think the fan was only like 10 bucks so keeps it pretty cool for 10 bucks I can sacrifice RO water um, let's see what else so let's see if we can see the piping so right here it's just a, a gravity fed pipe and I put this little rubber hose in here so then it keeps it quiet because if I pull it out it kind of gets loud but yeah it's using gravity from the tank and bringing it down but the wires look like a mess I had to extend the wires to extend the resistance so then my lights I don't know I did the math and I had to extend the wires um, so it looks like kind of a mess back there but there's a method to my madness um, yeah and then that's that's the fan there's the moving bed so yep so this is my upgrades to my BioQ14.